hello 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 i did promise a paper too and uh, what exactly i'm going to do is to post the questions for you and of course uh, you'll be expected to go through the questions then after two days i'll post the answers so thank you so much and all the best as you interact with the paper two that is two that three stroke two this is dr sa -Mi. okay with uh, any normal full paper you will start with a cover page like this one is a cover page of a paper two as you can see the table there uh the seven questions are given with uh, the equivalent uh, marks so the total marks is 80. as i told you before these are long structured questions and uh, uh basically they will be from a specific area and the total marks is uh, 80 as i've said in addition to that you need to write your name your index number and any other detail as it will be expected even maybe a signature there remember to read the instructions before you start uh, the paper question one like with this paper it's a question on organic chemistry and you told that the crude oil has it's a main source of many carbon and hydrogen compounds so you name the process uh, that can be used to separate the various components of crude oil then you give the two physical properties that makes it possible for the components to be separated then you're given a part b that under a certain condition hexane can be converted to two products the question is okay you're given one of the product is a c3h8 so you name or you write first first of all you write the formula of the other product then you describe a simple experiment that can uh, differentiate the two products obtained from hexane then uh, part c of the same question that's question one you're given a setup for the preparation of a gas a thin you have the concentrated sulfuric six acid ethanol in a round bottomed flask that content of the product is passed through another container uh, with the substance t so you have to name part uh, one or roman one you have to name part t or that substance t then you give two properties that make it a thin uh, to be collected as shown so which are these two properties then you're told a thin can undergo addition polymerization you're supposed to name the polymer and of course state one disadvantage of using this polymer then question two uh, this is a question on salts and uh, the question one that is the part a okay that is part a but you're given a mixture of iron three chloride and uh, sodium chloride then you're asked to name the method that can be used to separate the two oh good the other one uh, this question is more of separation of mixes but uh, it consists of salts properties of salts then you're given a table containing two uh, three substances sunflower common table salt and red dye the characteristics of these three substances are given solubility in water and solubility in ethanol now you have to describe a procedure that can be used to separate the three substances and uh, you're given ethanol and any other material that is needed that's a three mark okay then part c this one it's a part of the periodic table you're given some elements in it uh, r can see z y n t v w x and q then you explain why the oxidizing power of w is more than that of x then part two how do the melting point of r and uh, t compare and then you explain you give the formula of the compound formed between w and z then you're given that element k is in group five and it's in a period two uh, then you are supposed to indicate it on the grid then using dots and crosses to represent electrons you show the bonding in the uh, compound formed between k and hydrogen then you select the elements that could be uh, used for in weather balloons 
and then even for making cooking pots then you go to question number three yeah, this question number three is on sulfur and its compound it's a flow chart for the large-scale uh, manufacture of sulfuric six acid uh, you're given oxygen is mixed somewhere with sulfur four oxide in a reaction chamber you get sulfur six oxide taken to an absorption chamber where you obtain oleum oleum taken to another chamber where it's added water and a substance is gotten or comes out you describe how oxygen can be obtained from the air then part b you name the substance a then write an equation that will take place in the absorption chamber you're given that vanadium vanadium 5 oxide is commonly used as the catalyst for this process contact uh, contact process you name another catalyst that can be used instead of vanadium 5 oxide then give two reasons why we prefer vanadium 5 oxide in in, in place of the other catalyst okay then our continuation of question three but d you're supposed to state and explain the observation that will be made when concentrated uh, sulfuric six acid is added to crystals con uh, of sulf that's copper two sulfate in a beaker then uh, uh, the reaction between concentrated sulfuric six acid and sodium chloride will produce hydrogen chloride gas then you state three properties of concentrated sulfuric six acid that is illustrated in this reaction. Then part F, you state two, actually four, four uses of sulfuric six acid. Uh, question four, question four, this one is on energy changes. First of all, you define the term molar heat of combustion. Then you state Hess's law. But see, you are applying Hess's law to work out the enthalpy change of formation of propane. Propane, that is, you're given the delta H combustion, that is the heat of combustion of graphite, heat of combustion of, uh, I think that's methane, and heat of, uh, heat of combustion of propane. Uh, propane then from that you use the, the detail to work out the enthalpy change of formation of propane then you draw the energy cycle diagram to show the heat of formation of propane and heat of combustion of hydrogen and uh, that is graphite yes i think that is hydrogen well with the calculations i know how to go about that then you calculate the standard yeah that is a question now you're doing they calculate the standard enthalpy of combustion of propane go going ahead part d uh, other than the enthalpy of combustion state any other factor that can be considered when you're choosing a fuel part c you're given the molar enthalpy of neutralization of nitric acid and hcl is 57.2 kilojoules per mole but that of ethanol all ethanoic acid it's negative uh, 55.2 kilojoules per mole you explain the difference going on to question number five uh, you given this a question on uh, solubility solubility you're given that at 25 uh, degrees Celsius 50 centimeters cubed of nit potassium nitrate was added to a hundred uh, grams of water to make a saturated solution so what is meant by a saturated solution that's the part one part b uh, you given a table uh, this table consists of uh, solubility at given temperature of a certain salt that is potassium nitrate at different temperatures so you have to use the data or you're supposed to use the data given to draw a graph that is a graph of solubility that's your x uh, y axis the vertical axis against temperature along the x-axis then once you do that you determine the solubility of potassium nitrate at 15 degrees celsius then determine the mass of potassium nitrate that uh, remain undissolved given that 80 of potassium nitrate were added to 100 of water and warmed to 40 degrees celsius then of course determine the molar concentration of potassium nitrate at 15 
you, you are supposed to assume the density of water or did not change the other information required is given there mass a relative atomic mass of potassium nitrogen oxygen etc then number six this is a, a question on carbon and its compounds you have carbon fluoroxide is present in the soft drinks state two roles of carbon fluoroxide in soft drinks then you explain the observation that will be made uh, when a bottle containing the soft drink is opened you just give the observation and of course you explain carbon fluoroxide can, when dissolved in water it forms an acidic solution give the formula of that acidic solution then zinc uh, oxide that is zinc oxide can be obtained by heating zinc nitrate a student a student uh, heated 5.76 grams of zinc nitrate first of all write the equation then you're supposed to write the equation that uh, will occur when you heat zinc nitrate then calculate the volume total volume of the gases that are produced when you heat of course the 5.76 grams of zinc nitrate then part c of the same question you given a setup whereby you have the carbon 2 oxide that is passed overheated oxide of zinc of course the remaining compound or com the, the and uh, what you call the product is passed over calcium hydroxide solution the remaining gas there is burned state the role or uh, state and explain the observation in the combustion tube that is the first part second part you write the equations that are taking place inside the boiling tube and then uh, where the flame is produced question number seven you have a flow chart these are question on qualitative analysis you have a mixture x the mixture x is uh added that's water is added to the mixture x then filtration is done the two substances obtain the residue there's a solid there that is heated once you heat you get a black solid q and a gas which forms white precipitate when passed through calcium hydroxide solution then step of three the black solid you add sulfuric six acid and you get a blue solution when you add aqueous ammonia until in excess to the blue solution you get a deep blue solution j and of course another product when uh, you react uh, the same with magnesium you get product the products given there uh, then on the other side the filtrate you had from the beginning step five step six that is you add acidified barium nitrate barium nitrate then you filter that means there'll be a white precipitate that will filter out coming out as a residue then a colorless solution that when ammonia solution is added to it in ex until in excess white precipitate will be formed that will dissolve when in excess ammonia then if the question for the from the flow chart will be first of all you write the formula of the anion present in solid q in solid q then uh, then you go ahead and uh, name the two salts that are present in the mixture x then write an ionic equation for the reaction taking place in step six then okay then uh, you state and explain the observation in step five then part d starting with lead 2 oxide describe how you a sample of that's a pure sample of lead 2 sulfate can be prepared then how can you determine whether the lead 2 sulfate prepared is pure good now having gone through the question you need to attempt them then after two days i'll give you two days you go through the questions then i will post the answers thank you